Over the last couple of years, as you know, everything has changed. And one of the things that many of us experience as having changed is our relationship with Jesus. Lots of us are feeling like we miss him. These are a series of five encouragements that might help you find him again. There was a man, says Jesus one day, who was minding his own business on the edge of town, just digging around in a field. You know, like you do. As luck would have it, the man finds the treasure that he had always hoped he would find. I don't know, maybe it's a Roman vase, maybe it was a gold coin, maybe it was a Bitcoin. That's not how Bitcoin works. And so he does what any of us would do, realizing the incredible value of what he's just found, he buries it. He piles the mud back on top and he tries to make the, sure that the field looks as incognito as possible. Just for good measure, he just wanders around the field, digging some other holes and planting little signs saying, treasure here, X marks the spot. Then he goes home and he does everything in his power to raise capital. He wants as much cash as quickly as he possibly can. He, get, he drains his bank account, he maxes out his credit cards, he asks for loans off family and friends, he puts some money on the horses to try and win some more, he's lost that so he has to go and find some more. Eventually he has a bake sale, he gets enough money, he goes to the owner of the field and says, I would like to buy your field please. Of course, replies the man, because the field is worthless, it's just a pile of mud, you can't even build on it because some idiots dug holes all over it. So now the guy is the owner of the field. Why did he do all that? It's all because, says Jesus, of the treasure buried within. Everybody else looked at it and thought, there's a pile of dirt. There's nothing of value there. Yet the man knew a secret. He knew there was something of high value hidden there. And so it is with Jesus. My guess is that there is a little battle going on in your mind right now. I know there is in mine where on the one hand in the good moments, I desperately want to spend time investing in Jesus. And then there's this little voice that says, oh, don't worry about it. That was just a phase in your life. It, it's okay. You can just walk at this pace. Doesn't matter. Maybe you feel like you've outgrown it. Maybe it feels like it's become boring to you. Maybe everybody else looks at your faith, your understanding of Jesus and wonders if it's not just a worthless pile of dirt. Maybe it feels like holes have been dug all over it. Well, here's some encouragement. That Jesus is of ultimate worth. He's worth pursuing. He's worth switching Netflix off for. He's worth spending time and energy and effort on. He's worth the early rise. He's worth the difficult conversations with friends or people in your family. He is the giver of life. He is the gifter of good things. He is the one who provides peace and hope and grace and tranquility for our souls. He is the one that gives us hope for tomorrow. He is the one who will restore goodness and justice in full measure. He's worth it. The point of Jesus' story is that there's always going to be people who'll laugh and scoff. There's always going to be an excuse for other things you can do, but Jesus is worth it.